Good morning, grade 2 students. How are you all feeling today? I hope you all are feeling good, fresh, energetic. Minds are all fresh, right? No one is feeling sleepy in the morning. No one? That's great. Very good. So, ready for your literacy class? Yes? Now, tell me, class, that uh, when you want to travel somewhere, when you want to go to your friend's house or to some relative's house, how do you go? How do you travel? You go in your cars, right? You go in your cars. And if you want to go somewhere, like if you are <clears throat> if you are not uh, studying in online school previously, in what, whichever school you were studying, how you used to go to your school? In your school bus. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. You usually go in your school bus and if you want to go and see your friends or visit your relatives, you go in your car. So these are two uh, means of travel or means of transport, you can say. A bus and a car. Now, what is this here? In the, so what does uh, you think that uh, a car and a bus needs to uh, to run? What is there which helps them to run? Of course, it's the petrol and, or it's the gas. They, it runs through gas or through petrol. But what else is there in the in the car? Of course, there are wheels. You can see here these round circles. <clears throat> can you all see this? Yes, these are the wheels these wheels they it helps the car to run it helps the car to go on the road same way these wheels the wheels over here uh, uh these are the bus wheels they helps the bus to go it helps the bus to run on the road petrol is needed although but they need wheels also right so these wheels are under the name of our new unit this is unit number 10. We are going to study about wheels. Now, again, children, this unit is telling you something about wheels. It's giving you information. It's giving you information about wheel. So, what type of a text you will call it? Will it be a fiction or will it be a non-fiction? It will be a non-fiction text, right? Because it's giving you information. Whatever information you are getting, whatever information is written in your unit is all true, right? So this is a non-fiction text, right? Now, as you have seen in, the, in those flashcards, those two pictures that I've shown you about car and about bus, they both have wheels. Now, the wheels, they, they differ in sizes. They differ in the structure. In basically, the structures are the same. In the sh shapes are also the same, but kinds might be different. Why? Because if you are traveling in your car, car's wheels are different from the wheels which, we, uh, which uh, are used in a bus. The car's wheels are a little smaller than the bus wheels. Right or no? Yes? Okay. So that means that all different these uh, vehicles, these means of transports, they all have wheels, yet their wheels are different. So I'm going to share a picture of wheels. And there in this picture, you can see different types of wheels. Okay. Can you all see my screen class? Now, you can see these are different types of wheels. This, although they all are, one thing is common in all these wheels. And what that thing is, that they all are circle. They all are in the shape of a circle. But they are, their designs are different. Their types are different. Here you can see this wheel is different from this wheel. Right? And this is another big wheel, you can say. And this is another wheel which you usually use while you are swimming, right? And this is, I think, this is the wheel which is used in a bigger car or in trucks. And this is a bicycle wheel, the wheel which is used in a bicycle. So all these wheels, they are <clears throat> different from one another. Some wheels are car wheels. 
some wheels are truck wheels some wheels are you can say you know, the wheels which are used for heavy traffic of the public cars and some wheels are bicycle wheels yet their work is the same they help you they help your vehicle to move whether it is a car whether it's a bus whether it's a tractor tractor whether it's a stroller whether it's a troller if anything whether it is whatever thing it is they all need wheels these wheels help them to move on the road so this is what we are going to learn we are going to learn we are going to read information about wheels that when they were invented how old are they and things like that ready okay i want you to open your page number 60 of your nelson english this page can you all see this page it says all about wheels right you all have this page open in front of you great now i'm going to read it out the text and then i'm going to explain it also side by side later when once the reading is done i will ask you questions so please children pay attention or in your book your eyes should be here your mind should be open so that you will listen what i am reading and what i am explaining okay so it says all about wheels wheels were invented over 5000 years ago it is thought that the first use of wheels was to make clay pots there you can say here they are using clay pots in the side to make wheels A potter's wheel stays flat and turns round and round, but it does not travel anywhere. Soon, people saw that a wheel could be turned on its side. It still went round and round, but now it moved along. We still use wheels to help us to travel around today. The wheels of a bicycle are light and strong. car tires are filled with air to help them go smoothly over bumps in the road a farmer uses very large tires to stop the tractors sinking or slipping in the mud train wheels are made of metal they have a groove in the middle to keep them on the track now you can see here how old are wheels wheels were invented 5000 years back right over 5000 years ago wheels were invented first it they thought that the we they were only used to make clay pots later on they used when they made that wheel this they thought they oh it can move also it can go up and down and when they moved it they thought that it's going to move as well so soon people saw that wheels could turn it and it can move so we use wheel to travel as we have already discussed this now how is the bicycle wheel different from car wheel can anybody tell me we have just read it is very light yes bicycle wheels are light yet they are strong they are light but they are strong remember the picture the bicycle wheel that i have shown you just now and there is another picture of bicycle wheel over here in your book as well right so <laughs> car tires are filled with air why they are filled with air so that to help them to go smoothly over the bumps in the road they are filled with air so that they can go smoothly on the bumps you know how bumpy the roads are these days so they are filled with air so that they can move smoothly on those bumps a farmer uses very large tires to stop the tractor sinking or slipping in the mud so that is why a farmer used very very large tires you can see here this is the tractor wheels you can see how large they are they are big they are large they are strong because the farmer goes on different types of areas and um, it does, it helps it to stop sinking and stop slipping in the mud because the farmer needs to do the farming for farming he needs to go on in the mud so for the, that for that reason it needs a strong tires it needs the tires which are big which are strong it will help him not to sink and slip uh, in the mud same goes for train tires they are made of metal 
and they have a groove in the middle to keep them on the track. You know how the train track are? It's like this, very tiny. They, it's not so wide, right? It's narrow, and but it needs to be, the tire needs to be strong so that the train can move on track. So this was all the information which we have in our book. I hope it's clear now. I hope everything uh, is clear about wheels that how do wheels are, how wheels are different from other wheels and when the wheels were invented, right? Is it clear? Great. When were wheels invented? Question answer session. Come on. It was invented over 5,000 years back. Correct. What were wheels first used for? Yes, Sarah. Yes, wheels were first used for to make clay pots. Very good. Wheels were first used to make clay pots. Which form of transport has very large tires? Why? Tra the tractor. The tractor has very large tires. And why? Because to produce to stop the tractor sinking or slipping in the mud. Correct. Like we have just now, I have just now explained to you. Which form of transport has wheels with a groove and why? The train. The train has wheels. If they have a groove in the middle to keep them on the track. Now, these are four questions. And now, you are going to write the answers of these four questions, which we have discussed just now in your notebook. And since it's writing, uh, so I'm going to give you 12 minutes for this task. So your time starts now. Okay, time is up, time is up. I hope you all have done as we have discussed just now in the class. Yes, you all have done, you all have done in the same way. Wow, that's great. So what type of text we have read just now? It was a long question. Why? Yes, because it was giving us information. And information about what? Information about wheels, right? That why do we need wheels? What are the different types of wheels when the wheels were invented? This text is still not finished. There is more to go. We will continue this in our next class. So I hope you have understood whatever we have done. And you, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Yes. So do do your homework. I'll be posting that on portal. And keep watching your Edward videos, children. And revise whatever we have done up till now throughout this week. Because, you know, Friday is our test day. And whatever we have done throughout the week, I'll be taking your test. Okay, children. So, see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend.